What are you doing? Uh, we're lifting up the engine a tiny bit. We're trying to lift up the engine so we can maneuver the sill drive mount around and yeah. get it out and right. sand it and paint it. And why, why are you two doing it and not Dad? Because Dad, Dad has a sore knee. Let's move it. Okay, you ready, Ollie? Back into place. Come down. Okay, come down. Voila. This is the uh, safety A-frame that bolts into the boat. Shane had hurt his knee a little while ago, so he um, was on light duties. The kids had got the engine mounts out for Shane and had cleaned up the propellers. Harry had taken out the anchor winch and pulled it apart and cleaned it for Shane. What else have the boys been up to to help you out for the last couple of weeks? You don't know what your children have been doing? I can't remember. What? As you can see in the background, we have painted the, the rudders, put some prop speed on the propellers. We have painted the bottom of the hull, so it has its antifoul on. Last coat of antifoul is going on today, because tomorrow we're going back in the water. So the sail drive's taken out. That was the, That's the second one that Shane's taken out and cleaned and serviced, which is the one you saw in the beginning of the video with the kids starting that process. You can see there, Shane is actually drilling holes in our brand new rudders. And the reason he is doing that is that he's prepping the rudders ready for some wings that we're gonna put on, winglets. Now, fortunately, we're not gonna have time to put them on before we go in the water tomorrow. Um, so we're just pre-drilling the holes and if you, I don't know if you can see in the picture, if you can see that the, what he's drilling out there is the solid glass plate. So we're not drilling into the foam, we're um, Kent when he made the rudders made it with this solid piece of plate in the bottom for, so that we could put some, um, some big screws in and attach our um, rudders as winglets. So we're going to pre-drill that. Are you going to put a bit of carbon tube in there, Shane? Was that the plan? Carbon rod, yeah, that's fine. So he's got some carbon rod that he's putting through the hole, and that will be the piece that makes the backbone for bolting the winglets onto, is what I understand. But you'll just have to follow the process on YouTube, and we'll see what we end up with. Oh, so the covers for the sail drives. So in the previous few videos, I think I've shown the steps that Shane has taken with making a, um, a fairing or a cover that goes, just if you can see where the sail drive is, there was a big hole at the, where it entered into the hull. So we've just made some really neat covers to, to, um, to block that hole off basically. A lot of work on the trampoline but we're not going to get that done before we get back in the water so that's going to have to be a finish off the process in the water extra car uh, extra carbon patching on the launcher on for the four stay a lot of carbon on that one yeah. and are you going to put a pin that's a drill drill through those extra reinforcing pieces and make our four stay pin to attach the four stay to and then we also need to shorten our four stay because I think we've actually changed that a bit um, and we've introduced a storm cell fitting still haven't got any ideas about well Shane's got ideas of course he's always got ideas but we still need to look at anchor roller um, arrangements but that's going to be later as well gluing all the beams to the boat was also something that we did and fitting the um, beautiful martingale. Right, so Midnight Marine is in full action at the moment. It's uh, quarter past midnight and uh, just getting, oh, camera struggling 
<laughs> with Midnight Marine as well. So the rudders, um, I'm putting these uh, winglets on the ends of the rudders, but of course I haven't molded them yet because I've just been busy with everything else and we're going in the water in uh, at, uh, yeah, <laughs> in a few hours time actually. Um, so I've set the bottom of the rudders up ready for um, putting the wings on and I'll actually swim down with the wings and attach them to the blade. Uh, so I've actually put the uh, hole in the rudder where I've put a piece of Rio. Oh look, now I can't get my bloody piece of carbon right out. So, there you go. So, put a hole in the bottom of the rudder and there's a piece of carbon rod that's going to act as the main spar. Potted it in. Um, the spar bond's a little bit soft still, but hey, <laughs> it's midnight and I need to get some anti foul over the top of it. So, I've cut the rod, pushes in flush, like so. It's reasonably tight. So it ain't going to fall out, especially with a little bit of anti foul over it. Yeah, and there it is, ready to go. First, we are using a crane without a spreader bar. Spreader bars are not a thing in Spain. Um, we'll have the strap coming off the bottom of the hull. And um, when the strap squeezes in on the gunnel, because we've got this big aluminium gunnel rail, the strap will just crush the, the gunnel. So we've got the um, block of wood here in to distribute the load into the bulkhead, because the bulkhead is just in behind the um, block of wood here. Truck as well as a crane. Yeah. Truck four pound plates. So the next step in the process, we've moved boats out of the way, and you can see we're going to go in the pen just in front of us. The crane's here and brought some counterweights, and if you can see underneath Pikeira at the moment. Shane and Ewan are getting drops ready, the straps that are going to go around the hull of Paikia and up to the hooks that are waiting above. Yeah, and then we lift it up and put it in the water. Well, that wasn't scary at all, was it? No. How come one side's lower than the other? Oh. Dad's just had a look inside. Checked all the new seacocks that we put in, the new skin fittings, all the old holes that we filled in, and there's no water in the boat. So now we can let the crane lower us all the way in, can't we? I'm going to take, a, I'm taking some video of the beautiful, beautiful water that we got back in last night. Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, it was lunchtime here. Yeah. Look at that. And then Paikia. That has some, uh, somehow managed to collect 
all of the pollen and sludge and grossness out of the entire Valencia Marina, I think, because there's no, I can't see it anywhere else. Good to be back in the water, though. Yeah, apart from not having all the jobs done. <laughs> Look, you haven't um, done that little bit underneath yet. Yeah.